The Brazilian government is launching an investigation into President Jair Bolsonaro for his response to the COVID-19 pandemic. The leader of the South American country has long downplayed the severity of the virus. Meanwhile, the nation is struggling to contain the spread as Brazil suffers devastating death tolls. Manuel Bajorquez reports from Sao Paulo. In happier days, the Saraiva family toured Sao Paulo, making their living, making music. But last month, Hermes Saraiva died from COVID-19, alone in the hospital. O coração grita e as lágrimas caem. Não tem... My heart wails and the tears fall, says his widow, Silvana. I don't have the words to describe the suffering. That's because four days later, her 33-year-old son, Elvis, died from COVID-19, too, leaving her and her youngest, Eric, without half their family. Porque dois. Why? Why both of them? She's pleading with Brazilians to follow precautions. Quantas pessoas estão chorando? How many are crying while so many are having parties, not wearing masks? They just don't care, she says. Local authorities have struggled to enforce safety measures, busting underground parties and events. Critics say the lax attitude comes from the top, that President Jair Bolsonaro has set a bad example, sneered at science and mocked the virus. One study says there are now more people under 40 than over 40 in Brazil's ICUs. This was outside Sao Paulo's La Barbara pizza shop before the pandemic. The owner says he's been forced to lay off a third of his staff, and he and two of his remaining employees, all under 40 years old, caught the virus. It has mutated here into a more contagious strain dubbed P1 by scientists. I can see that a lot of friends of mine are with COVID. That's probably because of the P1 uh, variant. Silvana Saraiva's husband and son are among the more than 360,000 Brazilians who have died from COVID. She now wonders how she and her youngest will make their way. For now, she sings alone. A song that speaks of undying love. I know I will love you for all of my life. I will love you.